I'm very happy to announce that the Mix Signal hardware design with KiCad course is finally out and available for purchase. There's loads of content packed into this course and you'll learn how to design a complete embedded Mix Signal product completely from scratch, all the way from concept to prototype manufacturing. You can read the course description fully on fills-lab.net forward slash courses and I'll leave a link in the description. And here I can show you where you can purchase it via Fedevel, which is Robert Ferronek's site and also the complete detailed course content of all 16 lessons. Introduction, system requirements, part selection, how to read a data sheet and an introduction to circuit design, schematic design, including the power supply, schematic design of the microcontroller, USB, serial debug and ESD protection, schematic design of the ADC, DAC and complete analog front ends, final schematic tips, how to create footprints, a section on how to simulate circuitry with LT Spice, an introduction to PCB design, setting up design rules, PCB layout, PCB routing, some finishing touches, and then finally getting the product manufactured. And all of this, of course, in far more detail than I can explain in this short video. If you'd like to purchase this course, the price starts from $99 excluding tax and the various options, and the pricing is based on the Fedevel scheme. You can go to fills lab shopfedevelleducation and you can find the Mixed Signal hardware course there. Once you click on it, again, you can see more of the course description and also the pricing. I had posted this PCB design course survey throughout the last year, and quite a lot of people have signed up, and I will also be sending messages and emails to those people. Thank you again for your patience, and I really hope you sign up to this course and enjoy this course, and please do let me know your feedback. Let me now show you the first introductory lesson, which will also give you more of an idea of what circuitry you will be designing in this course. Welcome to this course on Mixed Signal Hardware Design. In this course, you'll learn how to design a complete hardware system or product from scratch. We'll be focusing on Mixed Signal Hardware, that is analog and digital sections in one system, including microcontrollers, USB-C, switching regulators, ADCs, DACs, analog front ends, and so much more. Overall, we'll be looking at system level design. So once we have a system description, how do we move from that to make some system requirements? part selection, circuit design, both analog and digital, simulation in LT Spice, schematic capture in KiCad, as well as multi-layer PCB design in KiCad. I'll be using KiCad 6, which is a free and open source eCAD software. This course is for engineers and advanced hobbyists with some PCB and electronics experience. I will give you some recommended reading and watching if you haven't had much experience with PCB design or electronics and this will get you up to speed before you begin this course. In general, this course is for people interested in the complete hardware design cycle, going from product brief to having the product manufactured. This course contains loads of useful, practical, and real-world tips and techniques for hardware and PCB design. Here are some prerequisites that would be very useful to know before you begin this course. I expect some knowledge of electronic engineering fundamentals, for example, basic circuit elements such as passive components, resistors, inductors, capacitors, various other components, for example, analog to digital converters, microcontrollers, and so forth. Also some knowledge of PCB design fundamentals, and I'd urge you to check out the videos on my YouTube channel, Phil's Lab as a Primer. I will leave some links in the course description. Also recommended so you can follow along is a computer with KiCad with at least version five installed and version six is out at the time of making this course. You'll also need some basic knowledge of that tool. Again, watching my videos on Phil's lab will get you up to speed. Recommended reading and watching for all the electronics part is The Art of Electronics, which is the Bible for Electronics by Horowitz and Hill. And for the third time, my YouTube channel Phil's Lab will help you out for the first steps. But don't worry, I will go quite in depth and in detail through most topics in this course. Just a bit about who I am. I'm a graduate of the University of Cambridge, which is a top three uni in the world. I have a bachelor's and master's degree in electrical and electronic engineering. I'm also a professional hardware design engineer as my full-time job. What you're seeing in this course is what I do professionally. I have years of work experience and I'm also a co-founder of a drone startup currently in Denmark. There I design multi-layer, high-speed and mixed signal PCBs and hardware. I'm also the owner of the YouTube channel, Phil's Lab where I make educational videos on electronics, control systems, and DSP. Here's a little selection of some of my mixed signal PCB designs. 
I'm predominantly interested in audio electronics, being a guitar player myself, so I typically design these audio boards. The one you see up here is with a powerful STM32 F7 microcontroller, line in and line out, and USB high speed. Also made various guitar pedals based on digital electronics with mixed signal PCBs, and this can emulate distortions, reverbs, delays, and anything you want. And over here, this big picture, we have a system on module, essentially a reusable PCB that can plug into daughter boards. This contains a powerful STM32H7 microcontroller, an audio codec with ADCs and DACs, storage, and so forth. Once you've completed this course, you will know how to design these types of PCBs, how to best section them into analog and digital components and sections, how to choose components wisely, that is the digital side, analog sides, how to design filters, simulate these filters, and the best practices for PCB layout and routing. So a lot of content to come your way. Overall, we can split the course content into five parts. The system level design, where we have a basic product brief, what we need to design towards, where we figure out system requirements, diving deeper and deeper into the specifications, sizing power supplies, seeing which sections we might need. Once we have that in place, we can move over to part selection, and part selection is where we really hone in, choose specific microcontrollers, choose specific ADCs, choose specific op-amps, and so forth. Once we've chosen our main parts, we can then move over to circuit design, where we design analog and digital circuitry for microcontrollers, anti-aliasing filters, analog front ends, and so on. We'll also simulate part of our analog circuitry in LT Spice, and I'll show you in detail how to do that. Schematic capture, that is, transferring all of our circuitry into KiCad version 6. Once we have our schematic in place, we have all the symbols and footprints, we can move over to PCB design, layout, and routing. Here I'll show you best practices for laying out a mixed signal, full layer circuit board, including talks about stack ups, traces, vias, and anything required for proper PCB design. We'll then route the PCB together, going from a blank PCB all the way to the final prototype product. Lastly, having everything in place, we'll look at getting the product manufactured. I'll show you what files you'll need to produce how we can order those at certain manufacturing houses. So let's get started.